looking at the picture mode on a display, there, there is some confusion here about what the picture mode is, um, the difference between what it is in a broadcast monitor versus a consumer display. Um, can you just shed some light on the subject of picture mode? Picture mode is something that is on some broadcast monitors, most consumer displays. Essentially, it's like standard, custom, user, movie mode. Essentially, it changes a whole bunch of parameters with just one setting changing. A lot of the times in broadcast monitors, picture mode doesn't really apply. Like they'll have an individual custom or user setting for the color space or the white point or the gamma. So a lot of those, they don't have like a global setting to change all of those at once. They have individual settings for each of those. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So in a consumer display, you have one setting which changes multiple parameters. And on a broadcast monitor, it breaks it out because it knows that you're going to need to have more control over those each individual options. Okay, that's very helpful. So can you explain just maybe the, some of the differences that between picture and color space modes? Are those the same? Or how should people handle those when they're going through setting up or optimizing their display to build a 3D LUT for it? On some displays, the color space will be the picture mode especially on some of the higher end computer monitors that are also used for as video monitors they will have their presets will be the color space which will also adjust the white point but they'll be labeled as the color space whether it be srgb rec 709 dci rec 2020 a lot of the times in those displays the color space will be the picture mode and it'll also adjust the white point and the gamma to correspond to what the standard of the color space is Okay, that's very helpful. So <clears throat> on this display, have you already pre-selected the picture mode or do we need to do that right now and go through the process? On this particular display, it doesn't have a picture mode. It has a separate color space, white point, and gamma settings that are not tied together. They're independent. Well, we've selected our Rec. 709 mode in the display. The display that we're using has a very wide gamut and uh, the Rec. 709 mode hasn't been calibrated yet it should be, in theory, w way wider than 709. So then when we apply a 3D LUT to it, it will bring it into the 709 gamut. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a measurement and see how this display performs. As you can see, this is our 709 green target. This is where it actually measured much wider. This isn't a, a problem when you're building a 3D LUT because essentially we can bring any point in, we just can't expand it. So as long as you're at the 709 green point or outside of it, you're good to go. If you're inside of it, then that's a problem and you need to figure out, change the color space setting or change the gamut setting in the display to at least get to the 709 green point um, or outside of it. That's where you want to start when you're building a 3D LUT. Okay. And if someone was doing this step of the process and they didn't have a pattern generator connected that CalMan was automatically controlling, what pattern would they load up to do this test? Essentially the fully saturated green pattern. Okay, so 100% green, take a measurement, and it's going to plot that point in relationship to the target. Correct. Okay, let's go ahead and move on and see what we can do with the next step here.